Hey, what's going on, everybody? I want to thank everybody to be joining me live and those that will be joining me on archive. I saw the news earlier, but I wanted to wait. You know, I don't want to jump the gun and, and give false news or say allegedly or something like that. Um, I, I wanted to be sure about this. I was hoping that this was just a... You know how the internet is, right? I, I've seen celebrities, RIP Jim Carrey trend once, and he didn't really die. You know what I mean? So I just didn't know if this was true or not. And in the age of social media, you have to wait a little bit. You know what I mean? But but um, but unfortunately, it, it, it is true. Uh, Frankie Randall passed away today. Frankie the Surgeon Randall, 1961 to 2020. Aaron Snowell, who trained Frankie Randall, has announced the sad news that the three that the former three-time champion has passed away. It is, he put this on Facebook, this the pugilist, the pugilist magazine. That's it, this man. Uh, everyone from Nigel Collins to just about everybody, man, uh, has been reporting this on, at least I've seen it on Twitter. And, um, man, 2020 just isn't done with us. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it's for the boxing world. This is, this is, this is a big loss. You know, you, you can't like, like Frankie Randall will always be part of boxing lore, you know, no, no matter what, you know, you can't write about the 1990s while mentioning Randall. Why? Because you can't write about the nineties you know, 80s and 90s, but you can't write about it, you know, w without the, the name Julio Cesar Chavez. You know, and you can't write about Julio Cesar Chavez without the name Frankie Randall. You know, because at least officially he was the first man to defeat and dethrone Julio Cesar Chavez. And he was also the first to knock him down. And and he he had that, I mean, it seemed like at the time like this miracle win, this very unlikely win, uh, this this huge upset that nobody really thought was going to happen. But Frankie Randall believed in himself, and, and he went out there, he executed a game plan, and he got it done, right? And and because of that, he will always be, you know, the guy who. You know, at eighty nine and oh or whatever it was that that toppled and defeated Julio Cesar Chavez. You know, the later years of Randall, like I haven't read into why he passed. You know, so you have to look somewhere else for that. But what I can tell you is the later years of Randall, man. I mean, he I think he spent time boxing too long. You know, I, I'll I'll never forget it because I just I just spoke about. What this man did, right? I mean, he's the guy that defeated Julio Cesar Chavez. Um, but then, like, he went from that to this blockbuster pay-per-view or, or um, you know, closed circuit, right? He went from that to, you know, I remember he was fighting next door over here in Juarez, Mexico. It's like, it's like nobody, you know? And it was like at like a middleweight or something like that. It wasn't even at his weight, and 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 I'll never forget it. It's it's like like man, he went from that to fighting at a Toro Plaza, you know, because uh, he probably needed the money, you know. Um, a lot of these guys fought too long, but man, dude, this is definitely a um, you know, this is sad news. It's, it is. He was young. He was 59 years old. And let me open up the – let me do this. Let me open up one of these stories here, and we'll read it together. Because they're not giving a lot of details as to what happened, you know. And, and as we get older, you know, we're going to see a lot of the guys that we grew up watching. Like I'm, I'm in my mid-30s. You know what I mean? 
So when I was a little kid or I was a teenager, a lot of these fighters were in their 20s, 30s. You know what I mean? Now they're in their 50s, you know, late 40s, 50s, reaching 60. So, like, they're getting up there. You know, and as we get older and, and someone who's older than us, like, like a kind of sports, right, he, he, he understands this. Like, we're going to see a lot of these guys that we looked up to. We're going to see them pass away, you know. But now in the age of social media, like, it's everywhere, right? And this was back in the day. This was just, you know, 20 years ago. You wouldn't just hear about Frankie Randall passing until it, if it showed up on your news or something. Or via yeah, cable and, and maybe CNN brings it up. And then maybe you see it on the newspaper, or maybe you don't find out till the ring magazine comes out and does some memory about him. You're like, what? Frankie Randall passed away. You know, now we get everything right away. You know, um, let's see. Randall is a superb fighter who was tough, clever, and willing to face the absolute best, is, of course, best remembered for being the first man to defeat legendary Julio Cesar Chavez. Randall had been battling Parkinson's as well as uh, pugilistic dementia and was. Just 59 years of age, known as his surgeon, uh, Frank Randall was a brilliant lightweight and light welterweight going pro in February 1983. And the warrior was born in Birmingham, Alabama, it was Matt's tough in his 22nd pro bout. After just two years in the ring, Randall defeated Freddie Pingleton via decision. Two years later, Randall was facing Edwin Rosario in London, England. Frankie Randall dropped the decision to the big puncher. In his first fight at, uh, for a pro title, Randall held a draw to a draw in a, in a return fight with uh, Pendleton and a rematch contesting the vacant USBA lightweight title. Randall suffered second round kill loss against Primo Ramos in October of 1987 in a shot at the vacant NABF 135 pound belt. Randall will not lose again for over six years. Frank. Frankie picked up good wins over good fighters. Jerry Page, Rodolfo Aguilar, Rosario in a rematch. Randall getting a stoppage win in 1993. And then when he was 31 years of age the sp and sporting a hard-earned 49-2-1 record, Randall scored the monumental upset over Chavez an 80 at 89-0. and And one draw, of course, Chavez. The draw, of course, was to Whitaker, all right? Now the recipient of the uh, accolades his hard toil had earned him. Frankie was the 140-pound king of the world. Randall lost the rematch, yet the most people, uh, to most people he was robbed, with Chavez getting a gift technical decision win when the fight was stopped, Chavez having been cut. Too many people, too many people Chavez quit. Frankie won the WBA 140-pound belt in his next fight when he defeated Juan Martin Kogi, uh, Two retentions followed uh, before Kogi uh, beat Randall in the rematch. The end of his fight having shades of Chavez loss with a cut to Kogi by a technical decision. How about that? Sadly, it was all downhill for Randall from this point on, with the former champ losing seven in a row at one point. By the early 2000s, Frankie was fighting 154 pounds, and he was just losing to guys who would never have beaten him in his prime. And again, that goes back, man. Um, he retired in 2005, by the way, with a record of 58, 18, and 1. I mean, just, just let that sink in for a moment. He was 49, 2, and 1 when he fought Chavez. He ended his career with 58, 18, and 1. So no matter how you put it, man, this is definitely sad news. Um, and I'll never forget it. Like in the early 2000s, I mean, he's he's fighting in Juarez, Mexico, in in, a, in some Toro Plaza, like in front of like 2,000 people. You know what I mean? And um, and 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 it's it, it is sad to see a, a former world champion, you know, fighting in the biggest fights under the greatest lights. You know, having to still be fighting because. He needs money or, or, or whatever the case is, you know, because that's – I'm going to venture to say that, that that's why he kept fighting, you know. But uh, – and obviously we see the effects, you know, pugilistic dementia allegedly and, you know, and, and all that. So, so that, that definitely comes from the damage in the ring. And, 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 and well, I'm sure he already sustained a lot of damage, you know, before he had to linger around. I mean, 
he took some beatings, man. He took some serious beatings. You know, from 40, um, I mean, it's it's just the way it is. You know, he lost 16 times and won around the same amount of times, you know, for the remainder of his career after the Chavez lost. He, went, he batted 500 after that. Uh, just people that should not have beaten him, beat him. So it is what it is. Okay, shout out to uh, Bruce Ghost. <sighs> but yeah, as as a kid, uh, I didn't like him because he beat Chavez. But as an older, uh, the feeling went away. Yeah, of course. But uh, shout out to Apple Types, Until Media, JC. All right, guys. I'm out, guys. Peace.